One of the things I've I've noticed I've been doing a lot lately, especially since school's been out, because I mean, they basically canceled school here. I'm in Toronto for those of you guys that don't know, but um, they canceled school here just the week after March break, which is around, I think the second or third week of March. And we don't know if things are going to return to normal in September in the school system, or if they're going to alternate days, or if they're going to do, you know, social distancing desk spacers or dividers or what the hell is going to happen. But we'll find out soon enough. But I found myself doing a lot of correcting on social narratives just in day-to-day -day life, like standing on dots, what's happening in grocery stores, masks, people's opinions of you, people driving in cars by themselves with masks on. I noticed in that video, you know, you were talking about, um, you know, people riding these electric bikes with masks on and not even pedaling. And it's like, I see the same thing because I've been riding my bike. I mean, the gyms are so closer. They're actually going to open on Friday here, thankfully, finally, but I've been doing a lot of cardio just to try to keep the, you know, the conditioning up. But you see these people on these bike paths and they're on these electric scooters and bikes and they're the ones that need to be pedaling. Like they need to move their body more. It's like this is like this is the systematic weakening of the human male. Like the Western male is becoming pussified because of things like this. And I find myself constantly correcting the social narrative to my own child to let her know what the truth and what the reality of the marketplace really is. You know, the world as it stands. You find yourself doing that with your boys a lot? Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of I, I've done everything I can to keep my boys away from any kind of social, uh, you know, conditioning as far as TV goes. Um, I'm very uh, mindful of what they watch. Um, you know, the school system, the public school system, my kids are in public school. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to go back this year. And I've always I've raised them up to say, listen, guys, when your teacher talk, te talks and let's be honest, the, I say 90 plus 90 plus percent of all teachers are female. Um, and they're being indoctrinated by a lot of women in the school system and a lot of their opinions. And I tell them all the time, guys, when you guys go to school, listen to your teacher when it comes to subject matter, when it comes to them teaching you math, um, historical facts. But when they start spewing their opinions, what's a lot do nowadays? I want you to pretend like she is the teacher from Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 mm -hmm. wah, wah. I wanted to go in one ear, out the other. And that's up to us as parents to teach them the way of the world for me when they come home we have we have life lessons you know we go out and we create in the garage we build we we're, we're making swords and shields they're making like apocalyptic type weapons you know when the riots are going on we mm -hmm. went outside with one of my old wooden baseball bats hammering nails in it to have like a little weapon for them i'm teaching them how to shoot guns um you know i'm teaching them how to cook uh, barbecue we're doing manly things we just got back from a trip in utah cliff jumping out and out in the lake and so we do a lot of stuff that guys do, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I, we don't have enough of that in today's society. We, I have, I'm lucky enough, Rich, to have a gym in my garage. So the, the gym shutdowns aren't that big, a big, big a deal to me. I make it a point when the kids aren't going to school right now that they go in the gym with me, do a little light workout, push-ups, sit-ups, body weight squats. They're only 11 and 9, so we're not doing like heavy lifting or nothing, but they're in there working. And I take two hours out of the day where we have to get out of this house, go somewhere, whether it's on the beach, at a baseball field, play catch, um, go to the beach, throw the football around something. They have to be active a couple hours a day. And then after dinner at six o'clock, they have their free time. If they want to play video games or what have you. But you, as a parent, we just can't let our kids sit around um, because you're lazy and don't want to deal with them, giving them technology. And that's that's... I think that's what's failed a lot of the people that are up to out today, these social justice warriors, they've been raised on all this technology. Now they're growing up and we're seeing the whirlwind of that. So I believe technology is a big problem of what we're seeing in today's Western male. 